Hey everybody, still Guts in Tennessee here, glad y'all are back. I'm fixing to show a, uh, another 1375 game I had uh, the other night, and just thought I'd start off here. Um, you know, I played nine games in it. My average uh, WN8 was 38-17, it was a really good night. My win rate was 44%, we just didn't win, but um, I'm kind of showing you this. This has become my favorite tank, and it actually topped my list. Uh, now... 2573 WN8, 55% win rate. I got my two marks. Still no ace. And the game I'm going to show you, I thought for sure was going to be finally be my ace. And it wasn't. It was still another first class. But I kind of wanted to show this because if you're into light tanks, I've learned so much from skill for LTU, uh, map positioning, just tactics of playing a light tank, you know, you, the, keeping your distance, using your view range and camo. So, kind of want to just just start out showing this that you know, um, especially this thirteen seventy five. I just don't know what it is about this tank that fits my play style so well, uh, tier seven. Um, but uh, I really love playing it, and I play the crap out of it. You know, when I get on, it's the first tank I play, and I play a lot of battles in it every time. So, um, here's the game. So we're here at Siegfried Line. Um, it's a uh, nine battle. I'm bottom tier. Encounter. Uh, I turned encounter back on. So what I've learned from skill is, say I ping the map, get everybody's attention. I think that's where I'm going to spot people at. So I spot this T71. As you can see, I'm running XVM. I saw that he was a red player, and everybody talks about XVM focusing on good players and stuff. I saw the little red thing beside his his health bar. And I assumed he was not going to outspot me, so I didn't run immediately. Um, but then I saw the 1357 showed up, and I figured he would spot me because um, he's a better player, probably has a good crew, and sure enough, I was spotted. So, so I'm going to move back in. Another light tank. I'm probably spotted. Always turn. Never run straight. See how I just keep changing? I'm turning this way, turning that way. Just It makes it hard for them to lead you figure out because you know you're on the move they've got to lead you so you never run straight if you, if you think you're spotted you just you do not run in a straight line just keep turning so I just keep going in so at this point there were three enemy lights two are dead the type 62 is the last one left and as you can see he was he was up by the city so I figure I'm safe to come over here now so I get in the bush here, just sort of get some vision. And so there's three arties. So I figure the arties are over here in the field somewhere, probably. You know, probably back around K2, K3 area, or K2 area is what I'm thinking. So I'm just sort of using my vision here, keep these guys lit, this IS. So I'm not really getting anything out of this. So I decide it's time for me to move up. Because like I said, only the... Uh, Type 62 was left, and he's in town. Most everybody's been spotted. So I'm moving up. Kind of want to stay on the edge here. Because like I said, you know, distance is key with a light tank. You, you've got the vision, and you got the camo, so you're going to outspot everybody except for other lights. And, of course, Stritz bombs if they're sitting in a bush or something, so... But, um, so I came over to this side, make sure nobody's to my right, I would have spotted them. So I'm going to move up to these tree, this little tree here by this uh, bunker. It's a good place to get view over this hill. Sure enough, there's two of the Arties. So I decide, I know I'm spotted. Go ahead and empty my clip real quick. So I need, need to move now. I hung out too long. I should have started running immediately. And I wasn't, wasn't turning, so I was just running straight, which let that WZ lead me. So I start my turning around again. Kind of use those bunkers. I got in this position. Those bunkers were kind of in my way for them to get shots at me until I became unspotted. So the my, my Fosh killed the other Artie back here. So I just come back up here to the trees. Get, get spotting off uh, assisted damage on that Tiger P. And I was trying to see if I could get a shot to finish him off, but this 
this tank only has nine degrees of gun elevation so I just couldn't bring the gun up enough to get a shot so so I need to find the other Artie pretty much everybody else is in town uh, only the Artie hasn't been spotted so I'm thinking he's back here maybe right there nope so I got a shot on this T-30 so let me go ahead and use my gun finish him off two in the clip there's the Artie and I should have aimed here I don't know why I get lazy sometimes did auto lock uh, those columns I guess the edge of the uh, building got in the way or or his middle mass of the tank was actually you know behind the corner of the building so he was coming at me so I come around the other side I know I can out out move around before he can traverse around to get me so I finish him off go for the reload so there's only two tanks left both in the north so four times speed here I'm heading up there see if I can get there in time Do the auto lock. Got APCR loaded. I'm watching this T25. He just shot. Now he's looking at me. Got one left. Get a shot on him. Game's over. So like I said, I got 1,500 damage, 3,300 spotting. I thought maybe this was my ace. So here were the end results. So it was just a first class. I was so bummed it wasn't my first ace. I still haven't aced this. 370 battles. So Pascucci scout patrol duty. A uh, little scrolling bar. Spotted 12 of the enemy. 3,300 all spotting. Third on damage. I remember I was bottom tier. 1,500 damage almost. Three kills. 12, 18 XP, but it still wasn't an ace. 13 of 15. I drove around 4.3 kilometers. Made I make money in this tank. Um, I was running a personal reserve for uh, uh, XP. Just training my crew if you notice accelerate crew training zone so 370 battles 55% um, win rate I'm at 90% on my mark and let me uh, go back to uh, let me just see what my assisted damage was so I'm averaging 658 assisted damage so that's not bad uh, 901 is my average damage so if you notice the WNA I showed you at the beginning that's all based on your damage. Uh, it doesn't take into account uh, spotting or assisted damage or kills or wins or anything else. It's strictly the damage you do. So you're doing 900 damage averaging in this tank is pretty good apparently. So uh, that's kind of why I wanted to kind of show you that at the beginning. You know, if anybody else is stumbling across this or whatever, you know, I'm, I'm not a Unicom. I'm not a great, great player by any means but I seem to do well in these light tanks and it's I owe it all to skill for LTU uh, watching him grind up on the Russian server through this exact line just watching battle after battle of him playing seeing how he uses the map especially initial deployments what he does at the beginning of the battle because everything beyond that you can't predict you know how the how the enemy deploys you you gotta read the map figure out where to go from there and um, this battle worked out pretty well um, that's kind of what I wanted to show you kind of go through my thought process of what I was thinking about clicking the map you know when I'm going to spot somewhere go and click the map in advance get people's attention there at least uh, and then they show up and then they're already kind of looking that way and get that assisted damage so anyway hope y'all enjoyed that give me a thumbs up leave a comment and uh, y'all have fun everybody keep tanking